Greetings and welcome back to the wasteland of Fallout 4, so specifically to Sanctuary. Now, there are a few things that I have done off screen. First and foremost, I've done a bunch of crafting and gotten a lot of stuff out of my inventory. As you will notice, I'm carrying far, far less than I was before. I've still got quite a lot of aid items of varying sorts. Now, I actually do need something that'll take away rads quite badly because... Uh, there was a rad storm while I was crafting. Now, rad storms are a little bit more of a thing now. I've got a couple of mods running. You may notice that this storm is much nicer to look at. You know what? I actually think we need... Oh, no. There we are. The, the thunder is reasonably loud. This is the True Storms mod. It makes storms, as you can imagine, quite a lot more intense, much more uh, enjoyable. It actually adds a couple of different weather effects as well. I'm also running with the mod Deadly Radstorms, and Radstorms are now significantly more radioactive. They're also slightly more likely to happen, because I just feel that the irradiated wasteland should be, I don't know, just a little bit more radiated, I guess. Now, we've got our uh, citizens over here working the stores. Now, I have no idea how these stores actually work and what benefit they'll really give to me other than someone to go and trade with. Now, before we head out, there's one more thing I need to do. I've uh, changed What's a couple that? of the weapons. I've improved quite a few of them. You'll notice we've now got Fiery Mark 2, and Fiery Mark 2 looks very different from Fiery Mark 1. Fiery Mark 2 was known as Righteous Fury, or Righteous Authority, sorry, may as well be Righteous Fury at this point. It has now been turned into a sniper laser rifle. Significantly more damage, uh, but much lower fire rate. George Mark II has now got a long, light-ported barrel and a compensator, so much better recoil. And I've made a laser pistol. This was a laser rifle. Now, it isn't one of the Institute laser pistols, because I, I just... It seems that these ones have just got a better base damage. Now, this one has a photon agitator as the... Uh, I forget what this is called. What component is this? Uh, capacitor, there we are. Superior critical shot damage, accuracy, and ammo capacity. I figure that if I'm going to be using this as more of a VAT hip fire weapon, then I want the ability to do really lots of critical damage. It's got an improved short barrel, so it is a short barrel rather than a long one. That is the best barrel I can make currently. It's got a sharp shooter's grip, so it makes it a pistol. It's got a medium scope, because I, it didn't seem that any of the scopes gave it any sort of negative to what I want to use it for, so I figured I may as well. And a gyro compensating lens for better recoil. I'm hoping that this is going to mean that we're going to be able to use this quite a lot in that. Now, the last thing we need to do, of course, is to rename any new weapon we have, and this one shall be known as Bone Dragon. Welcome to my inventory, Bone Dragon, I guess. It's a little bit weird when I say it like that. Perhaps uh, kind of like Pokemon, you know, I've shoved you in a little ball and I'll uh, throw you out to do battle whenever the need arises. But let's go ahead and uh, see what Bone Dragon looks like. Let's pull Bone Dragon out. Dunk. There we go. Fairly good uh, accuracy, but really I'm not going to be using this in any way with that. You know what? I'm not even sure that a, a sighted... No. I really don't think a medium scope makes any sense on this at all. Again, the only reason I put it on this is because it didn't seem that any of the scopes gave it a negative. Perhaps a reflex What's scope? That? Improved magnification, superior sighted accuracy. Better magnification, superior sighted accuracy. Better focus. Ah, focus might be what I want. Improved focus. Yes, we'll go with reflex sight, I think, for this one. There we go. I'll come all the way back out, there we are, and then we'll just dump I'm the busy. mod back in here. Then why are you talking to me? Go away. I don't want to talk to you. There we go. Alright, let's have a look. There we go. That's a little bit better. Ooh, that's interesting. That seems to be moving around. Hmm. That's weird. But, uh, okay. I like it. We've now got uh, a little pistol there. Let's actually check. What's the ammo capacity on Fiery Mark II? Only 15, but that's fine. Right then, we are headed out, and we are going to hopefully be making our way towards... Well, we do have something down here by the Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Now, 
one person has mentioned that they they would actually like it if I would focus on trying to do a little bit more of the main storyline. Several people in the comments have mentioned that they kind of like that I'm not, but I would like to invite everyone to put their input in the comments. Would you prefer me to focus more on the main storyline of the game or to wander around and just explore the land, find what side quests I can? Entirely uh, open to, to the input there from the comments, so please let me know if you have a preference. That looks awesome. Pre-war military checkpoints scattered throughout the Commonwealth are a great place to find fusion coals. Oh, that does make sense, yes. Okay, still a lot of... Oh my lord! That didn't look good. That did not look good. Did a bunch of people just die? I suspect a bunch of people just died. There were super mutants there. Really? I remember coming through here. Who's that over there? Oh, that's a protectron. Stay low. We don't know if they're on our side or not. But I'm not walking away from a bunch of super mutants. I'm gonna go and have a look at what we can see. Hello, dead super mutants. Uh, yes, I'll take the Molotov cocktail. I'm not gonna take your weapon though. I just don't need it. I'll take the gland. Oh no, junkie's note. Uh, oh wow, you actually had quite a lot of stuff that I don't mind taking. Explorer's outfit? No, you can keep that. I think maybe you were the ones fighting these things. Nuclear material. So many messed up super mutants. Grab your orders. It's probably the same as we've seen before. Okay, let's have a quick look. Now that I know items and, in fact, creatures are going to repopulate these areas, I'm going to be far less inclined to scavenge as much, like weapons, because they're always going to be more. Uh, let's go and have a look. So, we will probably have more super mutant orders, honestly. Yeah, it's exactly the same, but junkies note. Have a look at this. Dealer said there was a big stash of chems up at Kendall Hospital. Get them, and we'd be set for months. Or we could sell them and buy something stronger. Mm. I don't think you should go that route, whoever you are. It ends poorly. Just look what it did to Tetsuo. Hello, Protectron. You're going to be... College Administration Building. Oh, okay. Hello? Protect and serve. Okay, good. As long as it's not as protect and sever. Should always watch out for robots that say they're here to protect and sever. Uh, paint can. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Can we get through there? No, we cannot. Okay, well, let's have a look in this college building. Oop. Where's all the fire coming from? Oh my goodness! It's a war zone in Lexington. Let's get down there, dog meat. I mean, Rufus. I called you Dogmeat because the Patactron was nearby. Don't want him knowing your true name. The Hello, Super Mutants. I think you need to lose your arm. <laughs> then you need to lose yours. Oh, I can only shoot twice. Okay. <laughs> nope. No, don't, don't hurt my dog. <laughs> you hit like a rad roach. Really? Uh, well, actually, maybe I do. I can't even hit you. No, stop hitting Rufus. Kapow! Actually, I'll pull up my, uh, I'll pull up Bone Dragon for these fights. But well, let's see what Bone Dragon can do. Fire is more for extreme range conflicts. But it's interesting, we've got so many uh, super mutants out around. Oh, Rufus, you alright? Oh, you're okay now. Good. Ball caps. I'll always take the caps and the ammo. That is super useful. My lord! Nuclear material. Ripcage and spine. No, that's alright, you can keep those. Ah! Take out the lag, please. Oh wow, you took the leg out straight away. It's gone. No. Oh, <laughs> that must hurt. Oh, that didn't. I've got loads of ammo now since the Institute, so... 
Ah, I fancy this is out nearby. Ooh, we'll take the pre war money. This is relatively close to where the police station is. I believe the police station is just down there. Let's grab the bottle caps while we can. Bayoneted heavy pipe bolt action pistol. Uh, that's actually quite a lot of stuff there. Don't need the armor, honestly. We'll get more elsewhere. Toy rocket ship. Uh, I'll take that, apparently. There we go. Tactical hardened bolt. So, there are loads of ghouls around here. No! Take that, you scoundrel! No! And again, please. There we are. My lord, these people are just... Well, I mean, they're hungry, more than likely. Muzzled powerful pipe pistol? No. Looking for things that are actually interesting only. Taking the gold-plated flip lighter, though. And the gold watch. There's a lamp in there. Let's go and have a look at this, Rufus. Watch out for booby traps, Rufus. Sucks at the sort of place where there would be some. You know, I always pick up those subway tokens, and then I probably drop them off. So I should really keep some on me. Because if I come up against a protector, and it's like, yeah, where's your subway token? It's like, oh, well, uh, would you believe if I said I left it at home? Probably not. No, you'll just try to shoot me in the face with the railway spike again, won't you? Yes, yes, I suppose I have this coming. Okay, grab these. Oh, what have we got up here? Got a desk fan. Some ammo. Quite a lot of ammo, actually. Hello. My lord, so many people dead. This was not a good place for you guys to be, was it? Uh, anything else? No, not really. Potato chips? Yeah, sure, I'll take those. Mungle dog meat? Sure. Crispy squirrel bits. Lots of various things there. Very good. Um, those who have been asking why I was taking so much armor before, when it, it was clear that I didn't really need the armor, and it was quite bulky. In many cases, for example, the road leathers, I was taking it because I specifically wanted it for uh, aesthetic reasons. I wanted to give it to my uh, settlers to have them have a bit of a uniform, rather than wanting to break it down. Ooh, Comfort Grip. Now, that is a mod that I actually quite like. Muffled, girded, leather left arm. I'll take that, because I've not seen a muffled mod before. You had a bottle cap. I will be taking that. Short hunting rifle? No. Blood sack. Empty blood sack, though. Not a particularly good one, I imagine, but okay. All right, let's be on the move. And head down here. Anything? Yes. More ammo. George Mark II is now actually quite a potent weapon, so if I can get a healthy stock of ammo for George Mark II, I'd be pretty happy. Wonder glue. Surgical scalpel? No. Extinguisher? Maybe. And by maybe, I mean yes. Hello, Rufus. Anything in here that isn't a trap? Don't want a trap, Rufus. Don't, don't set off any traps. I'm pretty good at setting off traps, as is. Pipe pistol in a vice, clearly being worked on. Okay. Nothing much here. Ooh, damn. Oh, well. Probably going to be giving you a load of rubbish soon, Rufus. Just as a uh, FYI there. Okay, you're a little bit too far away. It's hunting for the source of that sound. Clever little ghoul, you. Rufus? You going in for him? Okay. Rufus? Don't get hurt. Ah, oh, damn it, Rufus. No. Can't see him properly now. Okay, just shoot him in the back until it dies. You alright? Hey. 
No, I don't mean to talk to you. Sorry. There we go. I just wanted to make sure you were safe. Haven't we come through here before? Uh, apparently no. Lightweight boiled leather chest piece. Ooh, and a muffled, welded reader left leg. Okay, those are interesting things to take. Alarm clock. I think it'll have nuclear material in it. And nothing back in. Okay, moving on. We're almost leaving this place at this point. Oh, prams. I just knocked one over in my grief. A subway. Ah, Rufus. Ah, Fallout and subways. They go way back. Candle Hospital just over there. You know what? Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to go down the subway. Because it might actually make it uh, get us there a little bit faster anyway. But uh, some nice things happen down subways. They do tend to be ghoul infested, though. I suspect that scallywag over there is only pretending to be dead. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they are. I don't know. Pipe pistol? No, thank you. Dirty water. Now, that's actually one thing I hadn't mentioned previously. I have made a specific storage for my dirty water because any dirty water that I place in the town storage is liable to be purified by my water purifier, which is not quite what I wanted. A shadowed leather right arm. That seems interesting. Let's actually have a look at that, shall we? But yes, any any dirty water I was placing in the inventory was just getting used up. It was being converted into pure water, so... Or purified water, rather. I've actually made a cooler and I've placed it by our kitchen that I'm putting all my dirty water into for the sake of making soups and things like that. Okay, let's have a look at this. Boiled leather. Still not so great, but... What is it about this? AP, shadowed leather. I mean, does it make me more stealthy in some way? AP5. I really don't know. Welded right leg. No. None of these are particularly good for me to have right now. But this is clearly a trap. No thanks. Shush, shush, shush. Traps, traps everywhere. Do not get caught by them. Stim pack. Uh, short double barrel shotgun. No, we don't need it. I've been getting rid of so many shotguns. There's really no point in me collecting them now. There's something down here. I can hear them moving around. Be very quiet, Rufus. I suspect there's a ghoul. There's one over there. Okay. I can't quite hit it. Let me go for... Fire Mark 2. This will be a kill if it hits. That one has woken up to me, I imagine. Yes, unfortunately. Critical. There we go. They're going to have more coming this way, I imagine. Back up here. Okay. Nope. I refuse to allow you to harm my dog. There we go. Okay, I'm no longer detected, so we are out of... trouble for now. Alright. Ooh, an aluminium can. Okay, back to Bone Dragon, I think. Barry Mark II is extremely capable of messing stuff up. Ooh, hole in the wall. Is that how the ghouls got in? Or were the ghouls here all along? That is the question. Ghouls do live for hundreds of years, so... Sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? You can never have too many fairy hats. Anything? Nope. No, it isn't a hole in the wall, it's just where it's been uh, cracked and decayed. Ooh, camp stash. 
Cut him up. Okay, back to stealthing. Softly, softly, catchy ghoul. Anything? What's in there? Baby rattle. Is the baby with you? What story t does this place tell? Did you just hide in here with the baby when the bombs went off? Can I not drag you out of the way? Why are you holding the rattle in the toilet and where is the baby skeleton? Uh, perhaps you thought it might be faster way to... No, no, that couldn't possibly hey. be. No one would think it would be faster to drown someone, or more merciful, rather. Alright. I would like to give you a teddy bear. There you go, Rufus. Enjoy. <laughs> There's a good boy. Uh, muffled ball leather left leg. Okay, you know, these aren't too bad. Might be able to make some. Uh... Ooh. Hello! Go for the head if we can, just unload. Wow, I can get so many shots off of this. One of them will eventually hit and kill. There we go. Now, we're still hidden, but only just. Ooh, that was nasty. If we move in front of this, it's going to go off, isn't it? No, it hasn't gone off. That's good. Anything else back here? Buff out. Take all of that. Take the shells. Nothing else of use there. Duct tape. Always useful. Pack of cigarettes. We can break that down later. We've got Mentats. Wow, they had quite a lot of drugs back here. Pretty well money. Feather duster. You know what? Yes, we'll take the feather duster. Shut up. That monkey is the stuff of nightmares, I tell you. Moldy food? No, thanks. Don't need it. Cram I'll take, though. Uh, bread box? Uh, yeah, sure, we'll put it in the kitchen back at... Uh, back at Sanctuary. Gumdrops? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's everything back here, Rufus. Just search the bodies. What's left of them? Fancy hairbrush, take that too. Right, we're not going down just yet. Do any of these have anything in them? Protectron over there, subway tokens. Let's grab all of these. Because I've got an idea of what to do with that Protectron. Hello? I can't unlock it. It needs expert unlockering. Ah, I am most unhappy. Very well. Scallywag! I really need to get that skill now that I've uh, gotten local leader. Okay. Uh, let's take you out, shall we? Black Bat have many ammo? Uh, no. But Fiery has ridiculous amounts of ammo. And George Mark II has ridiculous amounts of ammo also. Uh, let's just go for a torso shot. Just in case. There we go. Sleep well, ghoul. Second one on the incoming. There we go. Fiery's got amazing damage now. Still another. It's on its way. Maybe it doesn't know where to look. Where are you? Also, by the looks of the reflection, it's water down there. Military grade duct tape. Ah, hello. Hmm. Okay. Take the arm off then. Ah, fail. 
It'll probably die from the fire anyway. Though there's another one just through there. I just saw him moving around. Okay, well, we're headed now, so Rufus, let's continue to have a look. Uh, we could take a leg off straight away, probably. And you know what? Just critical it. There we go. It's a lot easier. Just a little bit of water down there, actually. Not as much as I was expecting. Excuse me, please. Rufus, what have we got here, then? There we go. Nope. Oh! Just kind of... Bah. I hate wasting bobby pins, even though I've got 81 of them. Nice. Really? Is it just an emergency room? Uh, okay. Very well. Now, let's have a look what you guys had. You've got nothing. Had a cue ball. Nothing of any great worth at this point. A couple of things that I could have used to explode to get rid of these guys, but uh, honestly, why would I? I'm not sure, but uh, it seems logical to me that if I did that, I would lose whatever they were holding. That that would go up in flames as well. Right. Rufus, shh, 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 shh. You don't want to go much further than this. Ooh. Hello? I'll take you. Lantern, we'll take you. Antifreeze, that'll be useful for drug making. Okay, well, then it goes down onto the tracks. Oh, hello. There we go. Really should uh, let these things get much closer before I do anything like that. Well, this tunnel is closed. Raid is down here. Uh, nothing particularly interesting there. Okay, that tunnel doesn't go anywhere, so... It's safe to look around, but be wary of traps, Rufus. Oh, that goes somewhere. Hello! Journal scrap. Hello! I'd like to shoot you in the torso, please. Many times. And again, please. Oh no! Fire! Fire! Now! My lord, you took a long time to do that! What a dick! That was completely unnecessary! Right, uh, fragmentation mine. Take the lantern. Bottle cap mine. Okay, well, they were trapped, they just weren't set up, which uh, I am a little bit surprised by. A blowtorch. Yeah, we'll take that too. It doesn't appear to have anything I need in it, but I want it anyway. Kitchen of sorts. Lots of odds and sods. Coffee cup. Looks like these raiders got set upon by ghouls and eaten. Not quite the nicest way to go, I'll be honest with you. Back down. Rufus, this way. We'll take that ghoul out when we get over there. Let's finish hunting around first, eh? Alright, what we got here? Really? Those raiders right here and never actually got in this? Got it. Wow. I care not for any trench coat that is yellow. Alright. Making fairly short work of this, Sir Boy Rufus. I'm reasonably pleased. And what we got? Quick and quick hardened pipe pistol. Uh, no, I don't think so. Strengthened shadow leather left arm. Ooh. Strengthened hard uh, hardened radar left leg. It's interesting things. Lots of ammo. All right. Not bad at all. Spatula, bottle cap, take that. There's doors there and also explodey things. Do not want to play with the explodey things.
Come along, Rufus. Oh, really? Can't I get in there? Huh. Okay, it looks like we have to go that way. Alright. We'll go see if we can shoot the... Oh, we can't do that. We'll have to go the other side. Can I open the door? No. I imagine that would need to be powered for it to work. Oh, can't do that either. Right. This is the last little bit that we need to do, Rufus. Now we can head back up. And for this, Fire Mark 2. That is amazing, from this far away. Right, let's see. Should be able to take you out with sneak attack damage alone. But it's going to bring your friend, I'm fairly certain. Yep, never mind. Okay, time to change. Uh, sure, kill him then. Never mind. Failed. Bone Dragon or is? Go for the legs, Rufus. Uh, okay, don't. Unload. Come on, some of them got a hit. There we go. Fire damage for the win. And we are once again hidden. Dog tags. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll always take the dog tags. Tablespoon. Oh, man, the ghouls on this side didn't have much good loot on them. I'm quite disappointed. Something in there. We can unlock an advanced door, so. Just be ready. Yes. Hello. Off with the legs, please. Now that you've been taken down, we'll just put you out of your misery. Once they once they've lost their legs, they seem to pr pretty much just stop attacking. I was expecting them to crawl towards me and attack, but now they don't seem too interested. And now they just sit there, kind of taken aback. It's like, why? Why can't I not walk properly? What has happened to my legs? I'm not used to thinking this clearly. I'm a ghoul. Ooh. Compensated hardened 10mm auto pistol. Muffled, girded leather right leg. Wow. I am fairly certain that these muffled things are going to improve sneaking in some way. Wow. So much ammo. College Square Station Key. Oh, okay. What are we going to find back here? Nothing. Duct tape fuse. Yes, please. Oil can. Turpentine. Softly, softly now, Rufus. No need to be noisy. Ooh, something back there. I want that. Can I actually climb that? No. But I might be able to get in by going around. Yes! Haha! -ha. Okay, a little bit of sparking. Be wary of traps, because if I was a game designer, I would totally put a trap in here where it's nice and dark and someone is, is thinking, Ah, oh, I've got a reward for being... for, for persevering. But just looking for the other way around and, and thinking outside the box. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. What's my reward going to be? It's going to be a trap. That's what your reward is going to be. Just waiting for the careless afoot. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Yardstick. That's awesome. It's actually got the measurements on it as well. Alright, anything else back here at all? Can't open that, unfortunately. Okay. Well, it doesn't appear that the uh, game devs of Fallout 4 are as ruthless as I am. I am thankful for this. A bowling ball. No, that can stay. Nuka-Cola Cherry. Ooh, and an actual Nuka-Cola. And a Nuka-Cola Quantum. 
Very nice indeed. Really? Wow. Were you trying to set yourself on fire before you died? Bit grim. Bit grim. Okay, well. We could activate it, Rufus. You know, to, to help the good people who might come here after us. Or to kill any raiders who try to uh, set up in here. Got razor, solar setup, flash, males, spans. Hmm. There's quite a few of these that have multiple connections. Let's go for makes. Uh, males, because if this has got two, then makes is the obvious one. Nice. Oh, never mind. Protect on control. This interface should be used by Rob uh, Robco licensed technicians only. Uh, choose personality mode. I would like you to be a law enforcer, specifically. There we go. And then activate it. Up. There we go. Let's get out of the way, Rufus. Duty. Good work, Protectron. Keep the safe place safe. We're leaving now. Oh, we'll grab that one. Right, we're off, Rufus. We have explored this area thoroughly. We have taken everything we can. Ooh. Set for. Oh, hello. This one is also active. <gasps> it opened the door for me. <laughs> that was an unexpected benefit, I must confess. Uh, okay, well, let's have a look at what we've got, shall we? Oh, that was just a bottle, never mind. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I could unlock that just for the EXP, but I'm not going to. Let's go. Right. Enjoy your work, Protectrons. Keep this place safe. I will be coming back to check on your work, by the way. And if I do return and this place isn't safe, I'm going to be most distressed. Anything in there? No. No loose change. I doubt it would matter. Okay, well, uh... Unexpected detour, as is often the case with this Let's Play. We decided to clear out a subway. You never know what kind of crazy stuff you'll find in subways. It's always worth it with Fallout games. Right, in the coming episode, we are going to be continuing on our way, this away, over the river, towards Diamond City. We may, or rather, we probably will get distracted by something on the way. I'm not going to lie to you, there is a very good chance of that happening. We need to go in this direction, though. So, I shall see you in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Do let me know if you would prefer me to focus on the main story quest, or if you're happy for me to just wander around completing side quests, hither and yon. But until next time, do take care.